So this thing, I was like, hey, you know, let's just get together for four days and kind of see how it goes, as opposed to locking in into something for a week or ten days or whatever. I mean, it was funny. You know, the, those guys got in probably seven o'clock at night, and within an hour, we kind of had things set up, and we played what you can't control, and. You know, we were feeling pretty good. We were like, hey, well, you know, we'll do some other stuff tomorrow. And then we listened to it the next day and we're like, wow, that's pretty good, you know. Yeah. And we are like, hey, Joe, you got anything else? I first met Jeff opening up for Three Fish many years ago over 10 years ago at a place called Wetlands. And then relatively recently, he asked me to sing on a song he wrote called When the Fire Comes. I was on the road in Zurich, and I recorded it pretty much immediately in my laptop and uh, sent it back to him. And we talked about, oh, we should do some more stuff. And then I went and played in the PJ20 Festival. And we talked again about getting together in Montana. I started playing with Richard when he was in War Babies. It was right after Andy died and when Mother Love Owen was done. And I, I mean, I honestly thought, I thought I might just kind of quit music and go back to art school at that point. And the War Babies asked me to play some shows with them and, and Rich and I just got together on our own and we jammed and I kind of fell in love with playing again, largely, you know, from playing with Richard. And, but, but it was fun. Like I, like I said, I totally fell in love with playing again and that, you know, for that I'm, Forever grateful. When the test of faith, you know that lies are coming up. Yeah, I thought he wanted me to sing like, uh, uh, you know, just songs that he had already written. So when I showed up, he was kind of like, you got any songs? And I was like, I mean, I did luckily have songs, but it's really, all the, the stuff was cut live. Like, all the vocals were cut with the drums, were cut with the bass. We would go through the songs once or twice and then record them. And uh, also Jeff had old, old pieces of music or, you know, and then I would write over those. So I just started pulling stuff out, out and whenever, Joe would be like, oh yeah, I think I could do something with that. And then he'd go out and he'd <coughs> find out that one section was a 7-4 and he'd be pulling his hair out. And like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, Joe would go out and, you know, basically run through the <sighs> arrangement maybe half the time. They'd be, he'd be like, go back to the front. Yeah. And he'd have like, kind of in his head what the arrangement would be. I don't think he, you know, there's a couple of the I kind of the quick. weirder time signatures yeah. that no, there were all the figured that Yeah, out. all the weird time signatures I had to do section at a time because I don't, I think in a very sort of 4-4, four, 6-8 four, mentality. And he uh, writes a lot of interesting time signature songs. It, it, was, it was a good realization for me because I was like, how many, you know, I, I must just frustrate the shit out of Ed, you know, or whatever. Like, you, know, you, you come yeah. up with these things that are maybe a little bit odd, but, most of that stuff is kind of natural to me, so I don't, you know. Probably because I play bass. Yeah. You know, it's, pro it's probably because I'm thinking fusion. more from a rhythmic yeah. thing and you're looking for these little injections of something. You say God is on your side. How do you know when all you want is to survive? And we collaborated on everything because even songs I had pretty complete became new entities with uh, Richard and Jeff playing on them. And Richard and Jeff being uh, in many bands together in the past, or playing for many years, I should say, are so solid. And, uh, I think we made a really good chemistry when we started playing together. I mean, the only thing I, the only thing I said to Rich was I said, the first day, Let's just be Joe's band, but let's rock it up. Let's like, let's yeah. like, let's like push everything and kind of try to to hear songs that I have arranged in a more acoustic format come to life. Like 
What You Can't Control is a good example because his drum part really brought a, a great arrangement to the song and the way this, he brings the snare in and it just sounds like, I don't know, it just, sound, it just kind of really made the arrangement. But that was, that was the thing, like, like the first real day that we recorded, we were already talking about videos and band names and, you know, and, but it was all a joke, like we weren't thinking like it was actually ever going to turn into that. And then the cool thing is like trying to do something that you wouldn't do in your other bands, you know, I think, that was, I think, I think we could do even more of that, but, you know, there's a handful of things and I, I think a few of those things didn't make the record, but there's a few things where we were stretching and, yeah. Trying to break our own little set of rules that we have. We didn't even know we were all going to wear orange today. <laughs> <laughs> this just happens. I don't think so. No. Next question. Check, check. Next question. No. Mm -mm. <laughs>